Hey everybody, welcome back to Owl Creek. I'm Cody. Today I'm getting out to start working the driveway. If you've been with the channel for a while, you've seen that we had a bunch of asphalt that was milled up from a local road construction project. They came and they dropped about 23 triaxle loads here on our property. So what I'm gonna do first to start working this driveway in a little bit better is I'm actually going to start the tractor up, let it get warmed up, and then I'm gonna get on the lawnmower behind me and I'm gonna go and actually blow all the leaves and the walnuts off the drive. That way I can see all the big chunks of asphalt. So before I get started though, I am still on quarantine from the Rona. My wife is still sick with it and my mom is now pretty much recovered as well. So thank you for all the thoughts and prayers for those and all the messages. It was greatly appreciated and looks like we will all get healed up. It's just a matter of time to get fully recovered. So anyways, it's time to get started and I'm gonna get this tractor fired up while I'm out blowing off the driveway. <laughs> Okay, so this that I'm using the grade today is actually my dad's tractor. It is an L4600. Not using my tractor because this land leveler back here, I purchased this for my tractor, but it's already hooked up on my dad's. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. I do like grading with mine more, simply because I have a hydraulic center link and this is manual. So if you need to make adjustments, you have to get on and off the tractor with this one. But that's all right, it should be pretty close as it is. So anytime you're grading a driveway, whether a box blade or a land leveler like this, you have to just keep your speed slow and keep an eye on the back, especially with one of these, keep an eye on the back of how all your rock or your asphalt millings, whatever, are uh, raking up over these sections here. As they're coming up and over, you wanna make sure there's nothing being caught or any big clumps or walnuts or anything which that's a big reason that I blew off the driveway was to get all the leaves and the walnuts off because they will get caught up in there and then cause trouble this time of year as you're trying to...
All right, so I got the whole driveway graded up here. As you can see, there is a lot of big chunks still in this. So later, once Dayton's done with school, I'm going to get him out here, and we're going to start picking some of these up again. And I don't know if that will be on video. He will probably want it to be, so it might. But this is going to take quite a bit of work to get all these worked out. I mean, you can see the size of this right here. There's some that big, and there's some that are bigger than my hand. My driveway is three-eighths of a mile long. Some of the loads that the trucks brought were just a nice fine dust, like what you would want, or a normal size for a gravel driveway. Others are huge chunks, so it did just vary a lot by load. Nonetheless, we're getting it worked in. It will be better in the long run and a lot cheaper than doing gravel, so this takes a little bit of extra work. So thanks for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Go down there and hit that notification bell and like this video. Thanks.